Hey everybody and welcome to today's episode. Today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee where we are getting ready to dine at... Pottery House Cafe. So we have eaten here at the Old Mill restaurant countless times. In fact, just back in March, we were here on my birthday eating at the Old Mill. And as many times as we've been to the Old Mill restaurant, we have never been to the Old Mill Pottery House Cafe. But that's about to change today. And we are very excited about this because we have so many friends who have visited the Old Mill Pottery House Cafe. And some of them rave that it's one of the best restaurants in Pigeon Forge. Look at all of that homemade bread it's just sitting out waiting to be served to the customers. All right guys, here is the menu. Here are the starters available. Loaded potato chips, fried pickles, chicken livers, a minnow cheese cup, spinach artichoke dip, there's some salmon cakes, black beans, spring rolls, bacon and cheddar dip, as well as fried green tomatoes. That's unique. Make it Fiesta by adding the comeback sauce, feta cheese, corn salsa, and bacon. Here are the various soft drinks and other drinks available, as well as a beer and wine selection. Over here we've got artisan breads, homemade desserts to choose from, and over here we've got garden fresh salads, all kinds of great salads to choose from, and party soups, children's menu, and let's take a look at the back. Right here on the back of the menu, we've got shrimp and grits, catfish, chicken livers. And from the grill, there's ribeyes, chopped steak, pork chops, salmon, catfish. There's some cafe specials to choose from. Chopped steak, barbecue. Here's Old Forge's Pecan Fried Chicken. It's two natural cage-free chicken breasts, lightly breaded, and then pecan breaded and fried. It's also topped with Old Forge's French Toast Moonshine Sauce and chopped pecans. It's also served with a baked sweet potato and coleslaw, but I would imagine you can sub out those side dishes for something else. And one thing that I've been eyeing is that jalapeno corn pudding. I've never tried jalapeno corn pudding, but I would imagine that it's good, so we're gonna check it out. And here are the different burgers to choose from as well as signature sandwiches, including the Old Chicken Reuben, which is a popular sandwich here at the Pottery House Cafe. All right, guys, look at that bread. This is some really thick bread. Oh, it's really hot. It's toasted on the outside. You can feel that crisp, very soft and warm on the inside. Let's see how it tastes. Of course, Jennifer is showing off her pottery since we are in the Old Mill District here at the Pottery House. We've got the handmade pottery, which we will show at the end of this video, where it is made right next door. All right, so Gentry is trying the bread here at the Pottery House Cafe. Tell us what your thoughts are on the bread, Gentry. It is really good. Really good. Jennifer? Just took a bite. What do you think about it? It's really good. It's like soft on the inside and chewy on the outside. I love it. Awesome. Henry, are you a fan? All right. 
And now I'm gonna try some of this bread as well. I can already tell it's very crispy on the outside, well toasted, soft on the inside. It came out very, very warm. When I was a kid, there was an Amish restaurant in Waynesville, Ohio called the Der Dutchler. Now they have not brought us any apple butter, but if we had some apple butter with this bread, this bread is identical to the same type of bread that was served at the Der Dutchler Amish restaurant in Waynesville, Ohio. All right guys, here are those loaded homemade chips. Now we have three different dips over here. We've got sour cream. We've got, what is this Jennifer, honey mustard? Avocado ranch. Avocado ranch, ranch, ranch and regular ranch. So we are going to dig in and let you know how these taste. All right, now Jennifer's gonna try some house-made chips. Tell us what you think, Jennifer. It's really good. They're really crispy in a good way and not too salty and all the toppings are really good and the avocado ranch is really, really good. Ginger, tell us what you think about the chips. A thousand out of a thousand. Here we go with the homemade house chips. And right here is the avocado ranch. These are so delicious. They've got a great crunch to them. The avocado ranch is... And we asked for some lemon to go with our sweet tea. Look at this. They brought it out in one of the Pottery House mugs. And we've got a whole bowl of lemons for our sweet tea. Jitri, tell us what you got. Corn dog with steak rice. That's good. And Henry got the grilled chicken tenders with some mixed fruit. That fruit was Apple. really good. Jennifer, tell us what you got. I got the pecan chicken and I subbed out the uh, coleslaw for the pasta salad and a big old sweet potato. Nice. And I pretty much got the same thing. Our waitress recommended the pecan chicken breast. We've got the jalapeno corn pudding. And I've got some fried apples. And let me just tell you, I wish that you guys could smell this because that moonshine sauce that's on here. All right, Jennifer, tell us about your chicken. This is the pecan crusted chicken with the moonshine sauce. It's really good. It's not greasy or anything like, like that. It's just um, a very light batter. The sauce complements the chicken and the pecans really well and those are really fresh pecans. All right guys, look at that chicken. You can see the steam coming off of it and it is so flaky. It looks delicious, but let's see how it tastes. So now on to the cinnamon apples. Everything is just fresh, cooked to perfection and I'll be honest with you guys, I went ahead and had a bite of one of these already, and it tastes like it's straight from an apple pie. The sauce is a very thick consistency, but I really, really like it. My favorite fried cinnamon apples are actually from Cracker Barrel. I'm not even kidding, I really like the fried cinnamon apples of Cracker Barrel. And I don't know if I've ever tried fried cinnamon apples that could be topped from Cracker Barrel until today. There's a new contender in town, and it is the Pottery House Cafes fried cinnamon apples. The moonshine sauce on the chicken is just so good. I keep sopping up that chicken in the moonshine sauce. It's very sweet, but also has a little bit of a, a smoke flavor. So this sweet potato is so tender. It really didn't need anything on it, but it did come with the cinnamon butter and it makes it even better. It's so good. Here is the Pigeon River Pottery. This is a pottery house here at the Old Mill. Here's some really cool bowls that they've made here. And they do have an irregular pottery section where everything is 50% off on Friday through Sunday. And it's currently a Friday today. So let's see what they have to offer back here. There's some mugs. And just looking at this initially, I don't really see anything that um, is irregular about it. It looks like a very nice mug. So let's see how much it cost. So it's 26 bucks, so half off would be $13 for that mug, not bad. Some bowls, plates, large preparation bowls as well. So a lot to choose from back here. And here are the salt and pepper shakers that they use at the 
Old Mill Restaurant as well as the Old Mill Pottery House Cafe. And those salt and pepper shakers can be purchased for $44.99. They have so much to choose from here at the Pottery House that you can literally buy a sink, a handcrafted pottery sink. And back here you can see some of the initial work with some of the pottery before it turns into the pottery that we've seen. I want to point this out as well. Check out how cool this is. The wooden shingles for the roof here at all of the old mill buildings in the old mill district. Well, everybody, that was the Pottery House Cafe. Gentry, what were your thoughts on the Pottery House Cafe? So, my favorite was the loaded potato chips. Loaded potato chips. Even more so than corn dog and steak fries, huh? That's saying a whole lot for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Henry, did you enjoy your meal? I like the chips yep. and the salsa. You love the chips and the sauce, and what else? Um, the bread. The bread. All right. Um, yeah. Did you like the grapes? Grapes. All right. And Jennifer, what were your thoughts on the Old Mill Pottery House Cafe? I thought everything was wonderful. Um, the bread service was really good. It was homemade bread, obviously, and, uh, and the bread is perfect. Had and the sweet tea was good. And everything had great flavor. Awesome the chicken was, was perfect. The pasta salad and the sweet potato, everything was great. And I have to say that this was a really, really good meal. The chicken was outstanding. The corn pudding was just a little different, but not in a bad way. It was just very unique. I love the jalapeno and by far the absolute best fried cinnamon apples I have ever had in my entire life are right here at this restaurant without any question. It doesn't even compare to anything else that I have ever had before. If you like cinnamon apples, this is where it's at. Our waitress Delaney provided us with exceptional service. The landscaping here is just immaculate. I mean, they do an exceptional job with the landscaping. The aesthetics of this place is just wonderful and very unique, one of a kind. This restaurant has a very calm atmosphere. It's relaxing just waiting on a table. We waited approximately 30 minutes. Really and truly, we probably got in in about 20 minutes, but they gave us a 30, a quote of a 30 minute wait. And we just enjoyed st standing outside with the water, the nice landscaping, the cool air, and just enjoying the Smoky Mountains here in Pigeon Forge. And guys, if you've made it this far in the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up like button, subscribe, so we can see you on the next episode of Every day is Saturday.